This is the last episode of the uh, ATB induction motor rebuild series. Um, and I got it back together, but um, uh, I didn't have the right tools to put the bearings back, the new bearings on the shaft, so I needed some uh, special tools for that, um, a hydraulic press for example, and I don't have such one, uh, such a hydraulic press, so I went to a company who pressed the bearings on the shaft for me, for free, and I, uh, I didn't have the camera with me uh, when I did that. Um, so, this was uh, not really a successful tutorial, um, but uh, my advice for rebuilding such an electric motor, if you don't have the right tools for it, because uh, I <laughs> spent days on ha tried to hammer that, uh, tried to hammer those uh, bearings on the shaft, and um, if you do that for too long, the bearings will uh, you'll uh, ruin the bearings. So if you don't have the right tools for it, search for someone who has the right tools and don't try to improvise too much um, because uh, then you can risk the bearings and you have to buy new ones again but uh, I'm still happy with the result the old bearings weren't too bad but uh, the motor was a uh, little bit noisier uh, with the old bearings than with the new ones. I'll turn it on. Got a 30 microfarad capacitor for the single phasing of this three phase motor. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy that I got it back together again successfully. At first, <laughs> didn't really know what would be the end result of putting this motor back together, but yeah, all resulted in a really functional motor again. So this is the end of the ATB induction motor rebuild series. Um, I'll uh, probably soon start on another series of um, some electronics experiments. Maybe uh, I'll try again something with rebuilding electric motors. So, see you next time.